Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Palmer, online business strategist and simplifier for entrepreneurs, service providers, and course creators who want to grow and scale their business online. I am the creator of the Business Ecosystem Builders program where we help you integrate your marketing, sales, technology, marketing, and mindset to grow and scale your business online while creating more freedom and making your life simpler. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you all about productivity for entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurship and productivity don't always go together. So I'm going to share with you my process for how I help my clients become more productive in their business. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are a entrepreneur or online business owner who wants to get business tips and marketing tips each and every Tuesday, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So I spent the first decade of my business burning the midnight oil. I would get up super early. I would work super late. I literally worked around the clock. My business was an extension of me. I would put in regularly 12, 14 hour days. And let me just tell you, I was nowhere near as productive as I am today. And so it wasn't until after I had my, my first son, who is going to be eight this year, that I really started to get serious about being really productive and efficient with my time. And as an entrepreneur, if you actually want to grow your business, you have to get really good at productivity and time management and focusing in spite of all of the distractions that can come up around you. And trust me, there can be a lot of them. And there's always a to-do list to be done and there's always a fire to be put out. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the process that I take my new clients through when they come on board with me about how to sort of like arrange their schedule and be more productive. So stay tuned to the very end where I share a very special start working with a client, I always sit down with them and I talk to them about like, hey, what, like, tell me about your week. What do you do? Um, what's the schedule that you want to keep? Like, what does an ideal day look like to you? What does an ideal week look like to you? And we go through and we just, we talk about it, right? And I would say nine out of 10 times or 10 out of 10 times, they are not living that ideal week. And therefore, I always encourage them to do a two week time study and a time study is basically when you track your time every 15 minutes to just keep an eye on what you're doing. It is super duper uncomfortable and you often find and realize just how much time you are wasting and it can be really eye-opening and really just like a game changer for you. So if you're somebody who is just feeling like you're not getting any traction or momentum, or you're somebody who just wants to increase productivity, I highly recommend that you do a two-week time study. And essentially, just grab a notebook and write down what you're doing every 15 minutes from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., or grab a spreadsheet and do that. And what I like to do is I write, I like to write down like, okay, here's the time, here's what I'm doing, and is it strategic, is it tactical, is it personal, is it like normal human being stuff, like needing to eat, is it self-care? And I just, I write down that little note. And I will often take it one step further and write down whether it's like a green light for me, something I love to do, a yellow light or a red light. And I do this for two weeks. Now I highly recommend doing it for two weeks when it's kind of a normal two weeks for you. So don't do it when you're like traveling or on vacation or any of that sort of stuff. Once you've done the time study, that's when you can start to make adjustments. So tell me in the comments, have you ever done a time study before? Once you go through the process of the time study, which kudos to you for doing it if you've done it before, it can be very eye-opening. And once you have that awareness of how you're spending your time, you can then start to say, okay, what can I delegate? Where do I need to get better with my time? And 
how do I need to adjust my schedule so that I can be more productive? And oftentimes an entrepreneur's day is a mishmash of marketing, sales, client delivery, customer service, and um, email <laughs> or, or social media or Facebook. And so once we kind of figure out via the time study and the data, what are all the tasks that we do? I like to go through and group them together. So what are all the marketing activities you need to do? And what are all the sales activities you need to do? And so on and so forth. And once we batch them all together, I then like to go through and put them all on your schedule in time block blocks. And once they're on your schedule in time blocks, we then try to theme the day. So for example, if we can do all of our marketing and all of our sales stuff on one day, we try to put that there. And if we can do all of you know X, Y, Z or whatever that is. The other thing that I like to account for is actually moving the business forward. So in January, you probably wrote down a bunch of goals for your business and you know it's May and you might be thinking like, oh man, I'm not exactly where I intended to be. And that's because you actually have to block time to move the business forward. So what I highly recommend is have a block of time each week. Maybe that's every morning um, between four and six. That's something that I love to do. There's no distractions. There's no one up in my house. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm recording these YouTube videos. It's super early in the morning and I have blocked this time to get this done. And it depends on how you like to do it. Um, Pre-COVID, I actually um, would take all day on Wednesday and make that my, my, I would call it my OMG day. So it really depends on how you like to operate. If you're someone who's an early riser or like staying up late at night, you know, block that time in there to actually move the business forward. Because once you have those time blocks on your schedule, it can be really easy to just kind of fill in all the stuff that you need to do. And because we have the data from the time study, it can be really easy to determine what are the things that we do regularly so that then we can just put them on the calendar. So and my last tip that I love to share with all my clients is is to treat your own business like your best client. So when I shifted my mindset and I started treating my business as an entity that was separate from me and I started treating it like it was my very best client, that is when my business grew. So I highly encourage you to treat your business like your best client. You wouldn't cancel on your best client. You wouldn't do um, sloppy work for your best client. And so when you can shift your mindset to treating your own business like your best client, growth will happen because things will actually get done and you'll move your business forward and you'll start to feel super excited and productive and really excited to like show up for yourself in your business. Do you need a checkup for your social media? Are you posting on social media just to post? If you are, it might be time to grab one of my $47 social media snapshots. These snapshots are a two to three page customized to your business, platform by platform, post by post, snapshot and action plan of all of the things that you are doing right and where you need to improve when it comes to your marketing. So head on over to www.socialmediasnapshot.com and grab yours today. I super appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much for listening to this video and watching. If you enjoyed any of these productivity tips, be sure to let me know in the comments and share with a business bestie. Stay tuned next week where I share 10 simple productivity tips once you've organized your schedule. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day.